Okay, going to show you how Romans chapter 11 verse 115 proves a pre-tribulation rapture, or properly called the catching up before the time of Jacob's trouble, or you could call it a pre-time Jacob's trouble resurrection, whatever you want to call it because tribulation is not a biblical term. The term is the time of Jacob's trouble. But of course, post-tribbers have to add to scripture to prove their heretical system. Well, I'll read it to you. Romans chapter 11, verse 1 to 15. Yeah, I'll show you how it proves a pre-time of Jacob's trouble catching away. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew what... Ye not that what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and they have digged down thy altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. Sorry, but if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise work is no more work. What say then? Or what then? What then? Israel hath not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According to as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and recompense unto them, let their, let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow bow down their way, or back a the way. Sorry, I got the best at reading on my computer, I do apologize. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall, God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of the, them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. For I speak to you, Gentiles, as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify thine office. If by any means I may provoke them to em provoke the emulation, they which are of my flesh, and might save some of them. Well, how does this prove a pre time of Jacob's trouble catching away? Well, there's going to come a time where God is provoking the Jews to jealousy, and their fullness is going to come in. If Christians go into the time of Jacob's trouble, uh, when what happens to the fullness of the Jews? Because in this time period, the fullness of the Jews comes in. God's, God goes back to dealing with the nation of Israel. But if, if Christians, in this time period for Christians, what happens with the fullness of the Jews? When does that happen? You know, it would contradict what Paul wrote. The body of Christ leaves at the time of Jacob, at the, uh, before the time of Jacob's trouble, and then God goes back to dealing with the nation of Israel. Because that's what it says, the fullness of the Gentiles comes in. Once the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, then we were taken out of here, we're called out, and God goes back to dealing with the nation of Israel. Proves a pre time of Jacob's trouble catching away. Again, if we go in this time period, then when does the fullness of the Jews come in? So, and it goes back to the same if you're teaching a post tribulation rapture, you have to also become a replacement theology because it's very clearly for the Jewish people because it's when their fullness comes in. So, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Romans chapter 11, verse 1 and 15 proves a pre time of Jacob's trouble catching away. We're taken out, uh, the, the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, and then God goes back to the Jews, and then the fullness of the Jews comes in. Because if we're going into this time period, what about the fullness of the Jews? When does that happen? Big contradiction. So, uh, don't be deceived by the satanic post-trib garbage, satanic garbage that it is. And I am hard on post-trib, the post-trib heresy, because if Christians go into this time period, it would make God a liar. So don't be deceived by heretics who preach a post-tribulational rapture. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.